Hi, my name is Guy Fredrickson. Today is Sunday, August 22nd, 2021. And this is another update on the restoration of this 1957 Martinac 24 foot cabin cruiser. Um, in the previous videos, I showed you how I removed all the interior framework and took the inside of the hull right to the plywood and sanded the plywood out. Then I applied Smith's Clear Penetrating Epoxy Sealer and then a layer of fiberglass with the West System Epoxy and then replaced all the stringers. So what I'm calling stringers are the pieces that run from front to back. So these are white oak, um, three inch by one inch thick. And it's just to replace what was there previously. And then I added some more wood, um, about the same dimensions, to the uh, chines. And I had to do that in sections because the, the original chine just got warped from sitting on the trailer for so many years. And uh, so a one continuous strip of wood just wouldn't contour properly. So I broke it up into four sections. There's more work to do there later on. Um, on the outside of the boat, there will be a, a chine cap or a rub rail in that area. And then eventually I'll, I'll bolt through um, the rub rail, the original chine, and then the, the new uh, additional chine. But that's uh, to be done in the future. So right now I have six frames cut. So everything running front to back is permanently fastened to the hull at this point. Everything going side to side isn't. So I have these six frames, and these are made out of African mahogany. They're an inch and a half thick, and on all of them, the distance from the top surface of the frame to the top surface of the keel board is right about six inches. So it gives me a, a smooth plane through the bottom of the hull. So to set those in place, I cut these pieces of white oak to go in between the stringers. And that gives me a nice bed to set this frame onto without having to notch the frame to accommodate the stringers. So another concern I'm having is the placement of the, the engine stringers or the engine beds um, in this area right here. So you can see the uh, framework here. So this is where the bulkhead goes that separates the cabin from the back of the boat. So the engine sits aft of that bulkhead. So the front of the engine be right about in here, and then the back of the engine over in here, and there's the shaft log um, back there. So the engine will sit at about a 12 degree angle. So I'll have to notch this frame out here to accommodate the transmission of the motor. But the overall length of the engine is right about 40 inches. And the distance from the bulkhead face to the end of the shaft log is about 48 inches. So that doesn't give me too much room to accommodate the rotary seal that goes on the shaft log. So we'll have to see how that's gonna work out. Um, I wanna use a different rotary seal than what was originally um, on the boat, a more modern seal. So if I have to, I may have to move the motor forward a little bit through the bulkhead here, which is no big deal. But uh, I need to assemble the engine and get some measurements off of it so I know exactly how it's gonna sit in this area. So my plan right now to attach these side-to-side -side frames is to put quarter 20 silicon bronze bolts um, through um, 
the, the frame and the hull um, right above where these stringers cross under the frame. So each frame will have six bolts, three on either side holding it down. And then when this framework is done, I'm going to add additional frames um, in between these existing frames to beef it up even more. But I want to get all this set in place first. And then here I added another piece of mahogany because that's where the rudder um, through, through hull fitting will go. And then the uh, strut for the shaft, the bolts will come through right about in here. So I wanted to beef that up a little bit more than it was. But it's looking pretty good. So right now, the next thing I'll start working on are the knees that kind of tie in these side-to-side -side frames with these um, uprights here, these, the frames on the side of the boat. So there'll be a piece of wood that goes in here and um, joins those two together, I'm calling the knees. And then I have to figure out the level of the deck back here too. Um, I may build supports for the deck into the knees or I might do it separately. Not too sure yet. But it's looking pretty good. Came a long ways this summer. So sometime in the fall, I'll stop working on this boat and then resume work on the Chris Craft I have at home. But um, maybe I'll work on this another month, month and a half, to see how the weather holds out. Anyway, thanks for watching and talk to you later. Bye.